The dollar falling again against the euro today after that weak new home sale. Get the Dow Jones is up 105 points. This on a day when oil was up to a new time high of 96. Realize inflation was running at eight tenths of one percent. Now there's no way that's true. Uh, if the government was accurately reporting inflation, we they, we would know we're in a recession. We got about 30 seconds or so, but I want to get your uh, your take on how much lower you think the markets can go right now. Uh, we think that the markets can decline 50 or 60 percent. We hate to say something so somber, but this is not the time to be optimistic or pessimistic. It's the time to be realistic. Our whole system has been built on credit expansion. We have to grow credit year over year in order to keep the economy growing. The economy is not going to grow. It's going to suffer recession, and once it enters recession, it's going to cascade on itself. But what counts is not how many dollars we have, but what those dollars are worth and what we can buy with them. And the dollar is becoming less valuable every day. And based on our economy, our huge current account, our huge trade deficits, our lack of domestic manufacturing, our lack of domestic savings, there's only one thing the dollar can do, and that's go down. Say they're being robbed. And then the job moved to a day which is like a month, and the United States replaced Britain as the ruling state in the world. And the US dollar became the international currency. And now the United States is about to relinquish power, and Israel is about to replace the United States as the ruling state in the world. And what will be the new money? Answer, the U.S. dollar is going to be attacked, it will collapse and bring down all the paper money of the world with it. You won't see paper money after that. Well then what's going to be money? What's the new money that Israel will use to enslave mankind? The way the United States use the U.S. dollar. Answer, Israel is going to use invisible money, you can't see it. Intangible money, you can't touch it. It'll be electronic money. monetary system would you like to see? Do you want the dollar to be gold backed again? Would you like to go back to fixed exchange rates? Give us a sense of where you'd like to go. Well, we, we should follow the law, and the law is the Constitution. The Constitution said only gold and silver should be legal tender. We don't really have clear authority to have a central bank. The dollar is going down, the cost of living is going up. Our dollar today is worth four cents compared to the dollar of 1913 when the Federal Reserve took in charge of it. If you don't deal with the dollar, there will be no retirement for anybody. We're going to have chaos. And the strange thing, the dangerous thing about electronic money, 
If it is controlled by the banking system around the world and the Jews control the banking system, that's not an uncharitable statement. That's not an invalid statement. That's the truth. We said that Israel is about to wage a big war. They prepared for this when the Israeli Mossad and the CIA attacked America on September 11 and put the blame on us, us Muslims. They know that's false. They know that they're speaking a monstrous lie. But yet they do it. The Prophet warned us that amongst the times of the last day, he said, would be the people who speak great lies. Full intelligence agents to question key terms supported by fact. Fox noise today actually suggests. strike the U.S. Marine camp in Djibouti, a planned attack on the U.S. consulate in Karachi, a plot to hijack a passenger plane and fly it into Library Tower in Los Angeles, the planes into Heathrow Airport. Despite the record of success, and despite the fact that our professionals use lawful techniques, which of the attacks I have just described would they prefer we had not stopped?